hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to make an email input field with email validation in this input field you can see a text called email which moves up when we start typing anything in this input field there is an error message which moves down when we enter any invalid email if the entered email id is invalid then you can see the error message and the border color of the input field is red. Once we enter the correct email, then the border color becomes green. We will make this email validation using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this tutorial. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. Now we will add one div with the class name hero. Let's copy this class name, write it here in this CSS file. Here we will add the CSS properties, width, then we will add height. Let's add display flex, align item center and justify content center so that all the contents inside this div will be in the center. Now in this HTML file we will add one div with the class name input group. In this one we will add one label and here we will add the text it is email. After that we will add one input field type will be email and we will add the spell check false. Then we will add a span tag and in this span we will add one message error msg. Now open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this text and input field here in the center of this web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file and save the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now again come back to the HTML file and here we have the label. In this one we will add one ID called email field. Let me change it as email label and in this input field we will add the id email field so we have email label and email field and in this span we will add the id email error this is for the error message so we have added three ids after that we will copy this input group write it here in this css file for this input group we will add width it will be 90 percent and max width 600 pixel then we will add position relative in this one we have the email field so write the id here with the hashtag and here we will add display display will be block and width 100 percent and border it will be zero and we will add border at the bottom it will be two pixel solid and one color code then we will add the background so the background will be transparent and outline none then we will add the font size and some padding here we will add position relative z index 10 after adding this again come back to the website you can see we have the text above this input box and we have this input box with one border at the bottom we can write anything in this input box below this we have an error message let's come back and copy this id email label and we will add the CSS for this one. So here we will add this ID with the hashtag and here we will add display block position will be absolute then bottom 5 pixel and left 2 pixel. We will add the color and font size. Now we will add the CSS for this error message. So add this ID here email error and here we will add position absolute top 100% and left 2 pixel font size 16 pixel then font weight it will be 400 
we will add color red now you can see this label text which is email inside this input field and below that we have the error message in red color right now we are writing the text in input field and it is overlapping the label text so we have to move the label text whenever we will start typing anything so let's come back and here we will add one script a script open and closing tag and here we will add this email field so here we will add one variable with the name email field equal to document dot get element by id write the id email field now we will duplicate it and here we will change the variable name it is email label and email error and write the id here email label and email error so we have three variables here we will add function validate email so in this validate email function we will add email label dot style dot bottom 45 pixels so it will move up and uh, here we have the css for email level in this one we will add the transition so it will move smoothly so we will add transition bottom 0 0.3 seconds and when this function will be called so it will be called whenever we will add any text in this input field so here we will add on key up equal to validate email like this so whenever we will start typing anything it will move up you can see if i write anything this label text email is moving up and it is moving very smoothly so now the input text and label text are not overlapping next we have to remove this error message delete it from here and you can see it is blank there is no error message and it will be displayed whenever we will add any invalid email so for that we will come back to the html file and in this script we will add if exclamation email field dot value dot match it means if the value does not match with the this given format that i am writing here here we are adding a to z dot and 0 to 9 so it will accept all these things in the email after that it should have one at the date then again there will be some alphabet and then one dot and after that there will be another character it can be two three or four character if you will make any mistake while writing this it will not work so i will add this in the description so that you can just copy and paste it in your code so this if condition will check the value written in the input field is matching with this format or not if it is not matching then we will add the code here in this if condition if it is not matching then it should display one error message so here we will add email error dot inner html equal to one a string message here so here we will add please enter a valid email so this will be the message and then we will add return false now if i write something you can see we will get this message let's write the complete email id here i am writing one demo email so if i write the correct email format also then still it is giving one error so we should hide this error once the email format is correct this error message should be invisible and the color of the border bottom will change so let's come back and here we will copy this one and paste it here in this one we will remove the message it will be empty and then we will add return true and now if i write something you will get the error message at the bottom and if i write the complete email id in correct format you can see this error message is hidden if i write invalid email again we will see the error message and if we write the valid email there is no error message so this is working fine next we have to change the color of the border bottom 
so let's come back and here we have the input field variable so let's copy this one and paste it here and here we will add style dot border bottom color here we will add red so once the email is invalid it will display the red color bottom and here we will change it as green if the email is valid then the border bottom color will become green here we will add email error dot style dot top 120 percent so it will move the error message little bit down and here we will add the same thing but the top value is 100 percent now again come back to the css and here we will add transition top 0 0.5 seconds so it will move smoothly now again come back to the website and if i write something you can see this error message is also moving down very smoothly and let me complete this email in this input field if i write the correct email here you can see the bottom color for this input field becomes green and if i write invalid email it becomes red so we are getting the error message also and we are getting the red bottom color for the invalid email so this is how we have added the email validation in this email input field i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video